the ancient code that leads to the secret civilizations underground of the hollow earth. Maybe there is an ancient code that shows the way to the inner civilizations of the earth, like Agartha and Patala. Is it hidden from public view? Oral traditions from indigenous cultures around the world show that ancient advanced civilizations thrived deep underground. With technological advances, scientific communities are confirming that the Earth's crust is filled with huge caves, which form intricate underground networks. A team of scholars has highlighted these details to find the overlap between ancient traditions and folk tales with the relationship of scientific discoveries. All of this is intended to go a step further, as it's estimated that these inland entrances may be metaphors for places where the physical journey becomes spiritual, according to a presentation originally broadcast via, via webcam November 21st, 2017. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. What else can happen when indigenous cultures tell similar stories about the origins of underground advanced civilizations that influence the course of human history? Some historians claim that the underworld hides the seed and origin of power over humanity. There's evidence that there may be a lost underground civilization somewhere deep in the Amazon jungle, for example, as indigenous traditions mention giant inland people, that is, people that living in the uh, inner parts of the earth, people guarding the entrance to the underworld. There are groups that have explored large cave systems, finding evidence that gives validity to the ancients and their knowledge. One of the most famous that we know of is the Derinkuyu Caves, the underground city, an ancient multi-level underground city in the district of Nevheshir province in Turkey, the volcanic rock landscape of Turkey's Cappadocia. The region is potmarked with several different underground cities, but perhaps none is as vast or as impressive as Derinkuyu, and their labyrinth complex dates to around 800 BC and was most likely built to serve as a refuge during periods of war and invasion. 800 BC. So with this in mind, this 18-story interior was a self-contained city, a metropolis including ventilation shafts, wells, kitchens, schoolrooms, oil presses, bathhouse, a winery, a living space for some 20,000 odd people. When threatened by attack, each level of the city could be sealed off behind a collection of monolithic stone doors. Historians believe that the Hittites, or the Pyrgians, were among Derinkuyu's earliest builders, that it was later occupied and expanded by a host of other groups, including the Christians uh, of the Byzantine era, who left behind a collection of underground frescoes and chapels as well. And you also have Naurs of France, northern France, the underground city of Naurs, includes two miles of tunnels and more than 300 man-made rooms, all of them hidden some 100 feet beneath a forested plateau. The site began its life around the 3rd century AD as part of a Roman quarry, later expanded into a subterranean village after locals began using it as a hiding place during the wars and invasion of the Middle Ages. And then you have the salt mine of uh, uh, Wielitska of Poland. It has a chapel carved into it, also known as the Underground Salt Cathedral. Poland's Wielitska salt mine is a massive subterranean complex of rooms, passageways, and statues located on the outskirts of Krak Krakow. The site dates to the 1200s, when miners first descended beneath the Earth's surface to find rock salt, and in the centuries that followed, they slowly carved the mine into a um, warren of galleries and tunnels extending for over a thousand feet underground. When they were not digging for white gold, the salt that is, 
The workers also used the mine's salt crystal deposits to build a stunning collection of chapels. And then you have the Lalibela. 12th century AD, devout king ordered the construction of 11 eye-catching Christian churches in the Ethiopian village of Lalibela, considered the New Jerusalem. We have also an underground city in China, but that was uh, in the 16, 1960s and 70s when they had the threat of nuclear war looming. Also known is Petra. The monasteries in Petra, basically they were tombs carved out of stone. And uh, we know that from its cameo in the film Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Petra is an ancient caravan city tucked away in the mountains of southern Jordan. The site inhabited since prehistory, but it reached its peak some 2,000 years ago. And Oriveto, a hilltop of, uh, in Italy for, known for its wine, white wines and architecture, the mysterious wonders lie underground, beginning with the ancient Etruscans. Generations of locals buried their way to the volcanic rock bluff on which the city was originally built. The subterranean labyrinth maze was first carved to build walls and cisterns, but over centuries it grew to include more than 1,200 interlocking tunnels, grottos, and galleries. So, yes, a lot was done and dug underground. We even have archaeologists claiming that there are underground tunnel systems that range from Scotland into Cappadocia of Turkey, and others say that they also go into the areas of Israel and Egypt. So this is also from the History Channel, and I've translated from a Greek article for you. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.